Hi, this is Christophe Impicciati for Bistech and in this short video we are going to discuss how to create a picklist in TM1. For this operation we're going to use two things. First, we're going to create a subset. Second, we will use an attribute. First, let's see how to do it in Architect. I have created a simple cube that has three dimensions. The product, the countries and the measure. If I open the cube, I have sliced it in a way where you can see the measure. The measure has two elements. The quantity, which is a numeric element, and the second element is the months introduced, which is a string element. Therefore, for the moment, I can input anything I want. What I want to do is control the user input by adding a pick list, making sure they can only input a valid month from January to December. To create a pick list in TM1, the first thing you need to do is to create a subset with the values you want for your pick list. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to get out of this view. I'm going to expand my dimensions. Double click M2013, which is the 12 months for the year 2013. But I need to get rid of that consolidation level at the top to be just left with my 12 months I'm interested in for my pick list. So what I do, I click the select all button. It's always a good thing to click the select all button when you're in the subset editor. Then I'm going to use the filter by level button and select level zero. That gives me my 12 months. And I'm just going to click the save button. If you want to use a subset in a pick list, it must be a public subset. So I unclick the private button and I call this subset level zero. I click OK and I click OK. Now that I have created my uh, subset called level zero for the dimension M2013, the last thing I need to do is to right click the measure for that cube I showed you before and go to edit the element attributes. Because I'm using TM1 version 10, the pick list text attribute is already there. I don't have to create it. In version 9, you have to create a text attribute called picklist one word. Here in version 10, I just click the intersection of the element I'm interested in and the attribute picklist and type the following subset column M2013, the name of the dimension, and column level 0, the name of the subset I want to use. Now, if I open my cube simple, you can see that uh, I cannot input any value I want. I have to select a value from January to December. So now, because of that pick list, I control the user input in my queue. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Christophe Impicciati for Bistech. And if you need any more information, feel free to visit our website or uh, give us a call.